I'm going to show you the coding to insert something into a table using SQL to update something using SQL and to delete something using SQL okay it's sort of the easiest one the delete okay so you're going to select the record and then you are going to click on the lead button it's going to take the current number in this add query i'm going to save that in a variable i number then i'm going to ask the user are you sure you want to delete the warning message if the message result is okay then i'm going to do my sql i'm going to say delete delete from then the table name that you want to delete from if you don't have anything after the table name it will delete everything from that cd table okay so make sure you have something like a where and you can say where number is equals to and then you can use that number that is currently selected okay so that number is integer so you have to convert it to a string to concatenate it with the sql statement then we use execute sql to write it to the database I only have a show message here, it just makes it easier for me to pick up mistakes if there's anything wrong with my SQL. And then I'm going to display all my records, star, select all my records from the CD table, just to display everything again in the DB grid over there. Okay, the next one is the increase or the update, because I'm going to increase the replacement value by 10. So again, it must only happen for the currently selected item so I'm going to check the number the current one which is selected I assume it was the uh, primary key so again like the delete I'm going to start with update if I want to update so update which table do you want to update I want to update the CD table set what do you want to set I want to set the replacement value the current replacement value is must be equal to the current replacement value plus 10 Okay, so you can also set more than one um, field in your table. Just make a comma, then you can say, let's say another artist is equal to something else. Okay, so you can just put a comma and then add something. Then you can update more than one field at a time. Then where the number is equals the current one that's selected. Okay, so then it's going to concatenate where the number is equals to the current number that is selected with the insert i'm going to enter the user is going to end everything in the edit boxes i just made it a little bit shorter i'm only going to use the two over here edit one edit two artist and cd name then i'm going to say insert into where do you want to insert into i want to insert it into the cd table then in brackets you must say all the fields that's going to get values i'm going to give value for artists comma and i'm going to give a value for cd name then values then in brackets you must say the artist which i got over here will go into the artist field over there then the CD name, which I got from the edit2.txt, will go into the CD name field over here. So you must make sure that you can't put the CD name first and then the artist second, because then it's going to take the CD name and put it into the artist field, and take the artist value and put it into the CD name field. Okay, so the, the, you must put it in the right order. And the data type must also match. If this is a string or text in your... Uh, database you must give it as a string if it's a real you must give it as a real it's a boolean you must give it as a boolean okay so you must just convert it uh quote the strings just to be able to add it to just to concatenate it and um, to display everything correctly then again execute sql every time you make changes to the database you have to use the execute sql okay when, when are you making changes when you insert update or delete then you use execute sql 
Okay, I'm just going to disable this quickly just to show you what the quoted string will do. I'm just going to enter something into my edit boxes. A, A, B, D, new record. And run. And this is what the quoted STR will do. It will just put that um, values, those values, in single quotation, single quotation marks. So it will pick it up as a string then, put it in artist, put that double B's in the CD name over there. 